Days in 2014, the building was fondly referred to as the Abbas Cabin. By March of this year, it became obvious that the dwelling needed a name that would support and inspire not only venerable Tupton children, but all individuals who eventually leave the community over the next countless great eons. The name Krajna House was chosen. Then sometime in the second week of November, the merely labeled Prajna House has become the nearly labeled Prajna Cottage. People who work in the construction business are for the most part very practical. Everyone with a few years of experience knows that problems and difficulties are a natural part of building a building. So of course, Prajna Cottage is no exception. We have been very impressed with the way our contractor Eric and his assistant Brandon have responded to the challenges. It is clear that they are both intent on creating a well-made and beautiful little cottage that will serve Vikshuni Tukton children and all future leaders of this community for a very long time. Doing this requires skill, fortitude, and a lot of joyous perseverance. In the Lamarim commentary, Steps on the Path to Enlightenment by Geshe Sopa, there is a wonderful explanation of joyous effort or joyous perseverance. And he begins by relating this kind of mental state to situations we have all had in the past. Joyous perseverance, or joyous effort, is not just a religious accomplishment of bodhisattvas. Whether we call it joyous perseverance or not, this attitude exists even in a worldly context. If a young person wishes to accomplish a huge goal, perhaps it's to become a musician, an athlete, or a contractor, for example, he or she may inquire, well, what do I have to do to attain this? The person may then be told, oh, that's not easy. First, you'll have to study hard. Then you'll have to give up a number of activities and make many sacrifices. You'll have to do much of this and even more of that. Hearing this could be discouraging. To combat dismay, the ambitious young person must think about the advantages of becoming a musician, an athlete, or a contractor. When we are cognizant of the value of the result, as well as of the difficulties of the method to attain it. We develop the ability to accept those hardships with joy. Little by little, more and more, we enjoy the work involved in reaching our goal, even if it is demanding. Eventually, we will be able to accept the most difficult things with courage. When our courage is strong, the challenges we face become helpful to us. Nothing is too difficult. We solve each problem quickly and attain our goal. As I was walking into this space, oh, it feels like a great space for contemplation, for writing. It feels like a studio apartment, it's just like a blanket around you. And looking out of the window, it's all inspiring. Hola. Hola. I'm Gabriela. I'm Dario from Ecuador. We are so happy with Pratna How process. We think that this will be of great benefit for Venerable Tupten children, but for all the community and for all of us, she is so generous and she is always inspiring us. So thank you for doing this. We are so grateful. Congratulations. Oh, all our